Right, welcome back to a bonus episode. So if you have not watched the first episode on this coffee, I would recommend you click the link down below. This uh, is basically just me using the Philips Super Automatic to brew up another hot cup of coffee with the SF Bay Fog Chaser in it. Um, I wanted to do this just so I could make sure that I was not um, making an incorrect pour over and I wanted to give the best um, review for this coffee. I feel like it may be considered good coffee to other people, but to me, um, with the sip test from the pour over, it was not so yum. Um, also, this sip test is coming after I have consumed um, almost the entire bag of this coffee, so I have been running um, the SF Bay fog chaser in my super automatic for a long, long time. So this is not um, a one-off sip test and this is not a one-off cup of coffee from this machine. As you saw there, I, this is a double shot of coffee. I'm going to do a full review on this machine coming up soon. I will also have a first impressions video coming out with an unboxing. I am just so busy that I don't really have time to make those kind of videos. Uh, coffee reviews are something I can whip out pretty quickly and I kind of have a passion for it. So it, that helps. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you want a companion video or a bonus video or if you think that the first video was enough. Um, I also do not have an intro or outro for this video, so it is literally just going to be this, me talking and looking at this machine while it makes um, coffee. Uh, and then I'm going to do the, uh, the sip test coming up. So, oh yeah, right. Here is a shot of espresso on top of my double shot. So I went big, people. I said, you know what? I am going to make this the strongest, most caffeinated, um, hopefully flavorful uh, cup of coffee on the planet. So there we go. We threw in an extra shot of espresso just for good luck. So hopefully hopefully this is the, the taste test that, that matters and, you, you know, all right, so coming up, we're going to check the temperature. So when you're dealing with coffee, the optimal taste you can get out of a cup of coffee is between 130 and 135. So if it's over 135, you should let it cool down to 130, 32, and enjoy it that way. All right, let's get into this sip test. Wow. So, wow in a bad way. So it starts off very, very harsh and very bitter. Um, and as you saw, I put in two shots of coffee, one shot of espresso. And it still does not, it does not make this coffee taste good at all. And that is a tried and true method um, for that machine. The extra shot of espresso usually kicks it into overdrive and makes it taste absolutely yummy. But this coffee is just, um, it's not there. And I've had a lot, a lot, a lot of cups of this coffee and it is still, it's still three stars and it still just does not hold, um, it doesn't hold anything to desire. You're not desiring this coffee. It just has this like harsh taste. There's nothing sweet or flavorful about it. Um, and I think that's probably why they give it that name fog chaser because they're like, yeah, it's going to do something, um, but it's probably not going to be something you're going to turn to for enjoyment. And man, did I want to love this coffee. I wanted this to be a very positive SF Bay review, but still three stars. Um, not very good. Pass on it. Um, yeah, it's just not the greatest. <laughs> 